What's up guys, my name is Rudy and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth. Today we're doing the Inter-Omnian Incident Campaign Mission, which has given me quite a bit of trouble, but I finally managed able to beat it and I'm going to play it again for all of you out there. We have to deal with a mutinied ship that is around Inter-Omnia. Well, this is most unfortunate. One of our warships in orbit around Inter-Omnia has mutinied, imprisoned the captain, and seized control of the ship. And I love this bit. We assure you, it's an isolated incident and not endemic to our entire military or anything like that. Now, the main problem is we can't just destroy the ship like we normally would, uh, because the captain of the ship is the daughter of Senator Chandra. So we have to basically disable the ship and rescue the captain and imprison the mutineers. So we're fighting around Interomnia. This uh, interesting looking asteroid, it actually has more than half a million people living on it. And an orbital population of 60,000, which is really neat. I wonder what the uh, gravity on this asteroid is like. I wonder how it's going to affect the human population over the generations, but it's probably, since they plan to live here, I imagine permanently, it's probably uh, not as much as a concern if they were planning to return to Earth. So we have a gunship. The enemy has a laser skiff, so we outgun them quite a bit. And let's get to it. Incoming transmission. All right, now this help. I I'm going to disable the help because I think I know what I'm doing now. But I spent so many times playing this mission, just breezing over the help, thinking it's not important, and I kept failing. And when I finally read the help, uh, it was actually very helpful unlike in most of the earlier missions. I feel like this is the first real difficult mission. So we need to set up our intercept of the enemy ship. We're both on the same plane. That makes things a bit simple. I'm going to burn retrograde and just come straight at the enemy. So if we, we have this option for a flyby or an intercept, which the game can plot for us at this point in our orbit. But if we expand the orbit a bit more Maybe we can... Ah, this is what I'm looking for, this diamond icon here. Which is basically an intercept that we have created with our own uh, trajectory manipulation. So, I've had some good... Going for these intercepts, I feel like, turns out a bit better. Also, if we come at the enemy at this angle, I think maybe we'll be able to more easily shoot the side of their ship, try to get at the engines maybe, instead of coming at them head on. So I think I'm going to go for that intercept. I'd prefer to intercept them over here, but I don't want to have to do other... Or maybe I could modify... Uh, what else could I try? I could try adjusting the out of plane. That doesn't really do much for me. I could do radial. Oh yeah, I think that's what I want actually. So I burnt tangentially, and then I did a bit of radial burn to fine tune it. So let's get going. I find it interesting that uh, the captain of this ship has uh, a senator father, because we are, the, char the character we play in this game is the Admiral, and we presumably got that position because our mother is the Madam President, so there's quite a bit of preferential treatment going on in the Republic of Free People. Definitely, uh, oh, what's happening here? Okay, my intercept is still there. Uh, the Republic of Free People is definitely not a... Uh, a fair place, you know. They're they're a faction like all the others. We're not the Incoming we're not the not the cartoon good guys like we talked about before. We're just like everybody else. Okay, we're getting a transmission. You're in command, aren't you the president's kid? Listen to me, stop your attack. This doesn't have to end in violence. You of all people should understand my reasons for doing what I did. Stop the attack and just hear me out. The Republic High Command is lying to you and transmission jammed. Okay, yeah. The Republic High Command is lying lying to me? I'm not sure if I would say that they're lying to me. Uh, I'm sure there's some information I don't need to know. Okay, so, in order to disable the ship without destroying it, we want to... You could just target all systems, but you don't want to do that because you're more likely to just spread your firepower all over the entire ship and just destroy the crew module, and we don't want to do that, so we should focus on one or two systems at a time. I think I'm gonna go for the nuclear rocket at the back, and I guess maybe uh, these green lasers at the rear. So my firepower will be concentrated here, 
so I don't think I'll be hitting the crew compartment at all. Furthermore, on my own ship, I want to disable the flak missile launchers, the coil guns, the violet lasers, and the rail guns. I think I'll just use the 8mm rail guns for now. Uh, I'm not sure what the best weapon is. I mean, I've never actually tried it doing with the coil guns or the lasers, but I'll give the rail guns a try. So we're, we're going to be in range of the enemy ship fairly soon. In uh, just a couple seconds, we'll be able to probably start firing our railguns at the enemy. So let's get this going. Or, well, we want to home towards the enemy. And they're currently... So we, we want to try and get a couple shots. Okay, let's uh, orient broadside now. Hopefully we'll be able to get some shots off before they fully orient themselves. Okay, we're firing at the enemy. Here it comes. So, we don't have a very good angle on the engine, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to uh, go back into controlled homing. I love those. I love the way the way those look. Okay, so fly by in two minutes. The enemy lasers are still pretty far out of range. I don't want to do too much damage. How is their armor looking? So we've done some pretty serious damage to their armor. Uh, one thing we could try actually is shooting the. We disabled some lasers. Let's try taking out their, uh... Their lasers are going to be in range soon, and I'd like to get this done with before their lasers are in range. I don't think this is really going to... Okay, we take, we're taking out some of their, uh, radiators. Perfect. And now they're rotating towards me. This is not looking good. I mean, I can't... I should try... Like, the problem is, is that they're heading straight towards me, so it's like, it's hard to, uh... Alright, we're gonna come in close now. I'm gonna take a look at my own ship. I think I've... Incoming okay, we did it! Oh, damn! We killed the captain. Ha, huh, okay. Let's give this another shot. Yeah, this is... A fair amount of luck is required, I think, in this mission. But usually, you can get it in two or three tries. Oh, check out this intercept. That's weird. Or, well, it's not weird, but it is what it is. Hmm. I, I kind of want to try that out. If we burn radially... Well, I think I'll do this, actually. So we're going to come right at the enemy's side. It'd be nice to hit the enemy on their broadside, because then we can more easily shoot at certain parts of their ship without actually hitting the center portion of the ship. So let's go for it. Incoming transmission. Yeah, see, that's what we want, because we want to get in range and fire at their engines before they can really rotate towards us. So let's target their nuclear rocket. Yeah, let's just focus on the nuclear rocket. And we'll disable our weapons. So that should be good, and we'll home towards the enemy. They should be in range any second now. If we look at our rangefinder, we can see our railguns. Okay, I think we can give that a shot. Yeah, they're, they've, they've rotated towards us. But we took out one of the radiators, that's good. Let's focus on the decoy launcher, how about? Not the 60mm milli millimeter cannons. Okay, they've lost power generation, perfect.
Now, I don't think we need to do much more to them at this point. I think, uh, so, I mean, they, they have no power generation. That means I can just sort of pick off their systems at will. They can't maneuver, they can't fire. At this point, I feel like I should have won the mission. Because the ship is disabled. I guess we'll just have to approach the enemy ship and see what happens. Going to leave only the nuclear rocket targeted, so I think what we can do is, uh... Just sort of fly by the enemy, and then take out the nuclear rocket from behind. So at this point, I'm going to disable my railguns and put myself back into Orient Broadside. Because I don't want to crash into the enemy, which might happen, I think, if I'm doing the, uh... Controlled homing. So now we just have to wait for our flyby. Coming up on the enemy now, in their laser skiff, the icy prominence. That's me, young obsidian. So the enemy is approaching 10 kilometers. Once we get close to, in range, our weapons will be f much more accurate. And we'll be able to more effectively take out their precision systems. Okay, let's uh, reactivate. We'll reactivate our railgun pretty soon. Okay, I think this should be good. Incoming Excellent. Precision surgery scalpel. We surrender. Once again, you've proved to be... You've proved exactly what kind of people run this republic. Yeah, I think you mean competent people. Good work, Admiral. We'll begin prepping the boarding parties now. Excellent. Enemy modules left, 88.5%. Cool. And I beat my last time of one day in 17 hours, and we got a sil silver rating. Perfect. My name is Rudy. Thank you for watching Children of a Dead Earth. Hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing, and I'll see you for the next mission.